e4 or d4? Well, first of all, why am I not talking about g3 or b3 or the, the ratty opening or the bird? Well, because I just don't recommend people to play these openings, at least under like 1200. Um, and there is also the English c4, uh, but the English is usually the same as the d4 openings. Because one difference between the e4 and d4 openings is that in d4 openings the pawn usually goes to c4. So for example, d4, uh, knight f6, and then you go c4. So in the English, if you start with c4, if your opponent plays uh, knight f6, you can then go d4, so it's the same thing. Now I guess you can also transpose into an e4 opening, so c4, e5, and then e4, but this just seems weird, like why would you play c4 in this position? It just seems weird. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna consider the English opening under the d4 openings. Now what are the differences between e4 and d4? Well, as I said before, in the d4 openings, usually the c pawn also goes forward because black prevents you from going e4. So that's why you go c4. And then in the e4 openings, you go e4 and then you usually go d4. So e4 openings, you go e4, d4, d4 openings, you go d4, c4. That's one of the most basic differences. Another thing to consider is that in d4 openings, let me just make up some position. Uh, this is one of the main lines in the Queen's Gambit. Uh, let's go here, this move. So let's say this position. As you can see, the position is relatively closed because there is only one pawn that can be exchanged. Um, and you can even shut that down. Let's say they play h6, you can go c5. And now the position is completely closed and black is gonna attack on this side and you're gonna attack here. If we compare that to the e4 openings, let's look at the scotch opening for example, you can see that the, the center is gonna open up. Also in the Italian, if you play let's say d4, the, the center is gonna open up, probably. There are always exceptions, but usually in the e4 positions, the, the game is more open. So the pawns, the center pawns get traded off and the position opens up. So there is more tactical play and less maneuvering. The openings can also transpose in one another. So let's say you play e4 and they go for the modern. And here, if you play c4, you basically get a mixture between d4 and e4 opening. Uh, you can also reach this position with d4. So d4, and then in this case, you can go e4, and you get the same position. If you play e4, you won't be able to avoid closed and maneuvering games. And also, if you play d4, you won't be able to avoid open and tactical positions but you're more likely to get an open position with e4. So that's why this is my recommendation because it's also easier to play for newer players. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't play d4. For example, you can play the London system, which is a system opening. So that means that you're always gonna place the pieces on the same squares and it doesn't matter what black plays. So for example, I'm just gonna show you one of the main lines. Let's say this position, for example. Um, as you can see, you're always gonna build up this triangle with pawns, and then you're always gonna place the pieces on those squares. So this is a great option if you want to play d4. And especially for beginners, because you don't have to know any theory. I mean, you can, it's better to know it, but you don't have to, because you just play this setup. Um, now the downside of this is that the position can get closed. So let's say, I don't know, just a random move. So you will have to do some maneuvering, uh, but still, I mean, you can play this without knowing any theory. Now E4 openings on the other hand are not so systematic. So let's say if you play the Italian, you cannot really play this 
Italian setup against everything, let's say black plays the Sicilian, you cannot go for the same thing because black is just gonna play e6 and now black has equalized in three moves. Uh, so the difference is in the e4, e5, the pawn is on e5, so the pawn cannot go back and block the bishop. That's what makes the Italian opening uh, effective. So for e4 openings, I recommend you play the Italian or the Scotch. I don't recommend you play the Rui Lopez, even though all of the top players played, because there is just so much theory and so many different options and so many different setups that black can play. Uh, so that's why I think Italian is better or the, the scotch. Now, obviously, black is not forced to play into this setup, uh, but at the beginner level and let's say up to intermediate, this is by far the most uh, common opening response. Um, so black can also play the Sicilian and the French and uh, the Karakan, the Scandinavian, uh, the Alakine, the... Russian, so the Petrov defense. Um, so there is a lot of options, but by far this is the, the most popular. In both e4 and d4 openings, you're gonna have to learn some theory, especially in the e4 openings. Because, for example, if you play the Italian, they can go f5, the Rousseau Gambit. And now, if you do not know d4, you're just gonna get a bad position. Now, theory is obviously not just to avoid losing positions. You can also get a winning position with the fried liver if they play at knight f6. You go knight g5 and they can get checkmated pretty quickly. Let's say if they hide the king, you just take and you get a checkmate with the bishop. Also in the main line, so if they play uh, bishop c5 here, you can go for the Evans gambit. They take they can get another pawn, you just castle, you sacrifice the bishop and you get the bishop back. Uh, actually, I had this position in one of my games in the rapid rating climb, so you should check it out. In conclusion, in the e4 openings, you're gonna go e4, d4. In the d4 openings, you're gonna go d4, c4. In d4 openings, the position is probably gonna be more closed so the pawns won't get traded off, so there will be more maneuvering. In the e4 openings, the position is probably gonna be open, so the center pawns are gonna get traded off, so there will be more tactics. I recommend you play e4. I'm also gonna make videos on all of the black's responses to e4, so all of these, I mean, there is a ton. Um, so stay tuned for that and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.